Yellow. Uh, subscribe for a crisp high five. <laughs> um, what are we talking about today? The Duke's daughter is going on strike. Um, what would I rate this? You know, it's 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 a relatively fun series. Um, don't think it's really doing anything special. Not you know wowing me. It's not super unique, but it does what it wants to do relatively well. Can't say I complained much. You know, it's it's I, I, there's there's little to complain about. Like it's. it's pretty good for the most part. I think a 7 would be fair. Not bad. Alright. <coughs> so what's the gist? <coughs> well, it's not an isekai. Character is not some reincarnator. Um, but it is... Uh, well, I, actually, she is a reincarnator. I just straight up lied to you. I, well, kind of. <laughs> I guess the more appropriate term would be regressor, as in she's going back, in, you know, in time before she died. Um, the basic gist is she gets the short end of the stick. Um, she doesn't necessarily look like this originally. She has like this, like, you know, super big um, birthmark over her eye. Uh, and everyone calls her a monster because she has this huge birthmark and she has red eyes and ooh, um, and she gets treated horribly by the Duke <laughs> as well as the rest of the family mem uh, members except for like one um, and then you know she ends up doing all the work for them basically They're, a lot of them are incompetent but uh, her abilities are top notch so um she ends up doing all the work you know all the like papers and all that stuff like she's she's basically the duke <laughs> um but they end up kind of betraying her because their plans get found out and whatnot the duke of course you know if he's going to treat his daughter like shit of course he's a shitty guy um so he ends up being corrupt and all this other stuff and she ends up taking the blame because she's the monster or you know that's involved here and everything it's relatively typical um just you know people getting blamed for things they don't do taking the fall and then coming back to kind of win in the end i guess and the basic idea of the story is just she tries to harm the Duke because she wants revenge for her previous life and you know, how he treated her and <coughs> her new life and everything as well because she wasn't like reincarnated back to like she wasn't brought back to when she was like two or something she was brought back like I don't know maybe like a couple of years um, but I would say that kind of takes a secondary role to um, when she finds the male lead uh, they end up being like super lovey-dovey um, and that kind of takes precedence over most things basically the Duke is just there to throw like a wrench into her plans every once in a while with the other guy he's like a Viscount or something um, it's <sighs> it's not really anything special it's basically just like a typical like romance kind of story with you know these background characters to throw in little obstacles for the main characters to get over. Um, I would say there are interesting moments throughout the series. Um, the prince, for example, is good friends with the uh, male lead. And in a typical story, right, you'd have the female lead, you'd have the male lead, and then you'd have the prince and there would be, I don't know, some sort of, like, love triangle between them. <coughs> but in this specific case, it's more so, like, this guy supports his friend and supports her in these two, like, being in love with each other. Which is kind of nice. I like how the, the prince isn't like, oh, you know, I'm the secondary male lead. <laughs> there, there really doesn't... See I mean, there are characters that 
make this guy jealous or whatever, but there's not really like a true secondary male lead. Like there are male characters and stuff here and there, but they're not really like set up in that position. Also, like the whole love interest idea is like, it's one of those stories where they actually carry through with a love interest and it doesn't like keep faking out here and there. It's like, no, no, these two characters like each other. And they actually have like valid reasons as to why they're not getting together. Like um, she has concerns because of the Duke. Like she doesn't want to get married to this guy just because of the, you know, because it would help the Duke, right? Because he would get an attachment to this family that's super well off. Because, I mean, this guy's like best buddies with the prince and all that stuff. So she doesn't really want to help him, <coughs> which is kind of like their reasoning for not dating and getting married and all this stuff. But they still do it on the side, which I think is like, oh, okay, that's a good, that's a good compromise. I like that. It feels pretty realistic for a situation like this. Um, in terms of, like, characters throughout the series, I mean, like, motivation-wise, it's okay. You know, she's just trying to get rid of the Duke, which, you know, that's fine. Just her going after him, basically, all the time. Um, there's also, like, this weird side story where she has to go and help her maid, but then nothing happens in this side story, basically. Like, it just doesn't resolve in the end. And she also, ha like, goes there with this guy, like, goes to another country, basically. And it's like, uh, I feel like the maid idea was just to get her to go there, but that feels really convenient. Like, oh, her maid just so happens to need her help. Her nanny, whatever. Um, in this other country, and he just so happens to have to go to this other country, and it's like, that feels really... I don't know, that, that, that doesn't feel right. That feels super lucky. Um... What else? Also, like, there's a little bit of an illogical thing that you often see in this story. Whenever you see, like, documents or anything in this story, um, you know, like, you'll see, like, oh, here's some documents, like, written on the, you know, desk or whatever. They'll just leave these things in the open for, like, anybody to, like, come in and get. And it's like, this is, like, not how a real world would work. <laughs> <laughs> like, the Duke doesn't really trust the female lead. Like, if we're talking, like, okay, this is the Duke, and then this is the female lead, they're, like, he knows that she is not trustworthy. Now, he still wants her to help because she's so competent and he needs her to be around, but he knows that she's not trustworthy. You would think he would make sure that she never sees any of these documents on her own, but she constantly goes, like, right into his room and just looks at things. And there's a point when he goes into her room and just looks at things. And I'm like, you guys would, do you, and they're just like on the table. And I'm like, do you really not think that anyone's going to come in and look at this stuff? You're just like, oh, I'm so trusting. There's no way that the Duke would come into my room and try to spy on me. No. The Duke? That guy? He's such a sweetheart. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. Uh, all right. And there's like, there's little things like that where it's just like they're clearly making choices just to further the plot. But I, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm not like, that's not going to be the be all end all for me. Like, it doesn't ruin the series or anything. It's just kind of like a negative to the story. <coughs> Overall, I would say it's a relatively like linear plot. We've seen this story kind of like, you know, a million times before. You know, gets brought back in time, tries to sort things out, finds a new love interest. And then their, you know, connection to each other furthers the plot, and they fight off the Duke. It's a pretty linear progression that we've seen a million times. Um, I think there are some, like, random moments where you're like, that makes no sense. But for the most part, it's pretty solid. Um, Art-wise, I feel like there was actually, like, a consistent change in art. Like, it didn't start out as good as it ended, which was kind of weird. I don't see that too much in a lot of these stories, especially because the beginning seemed okay, but, like, it kind of turned up a little near the end. And I guess that's a good reason to go into the old, uh, <coughs> S-A-E. What is the S-A-E? Well, it's Story, Art, Enjoyment. Story-wise, six. Um, I think there's a lot of mini plot holes that kind of bring it down from a seven, but I do like the overarching plot, and I think it's a lot of the bigger things are well done. I think a 6 is relatively fair. 
art wise if we're talking the start of the series six end of the series like an eight it goes up in quality as you read it i don't know if it's just like the author had a better day or something but like it seems better overall like there's definitely like a trend upward um i would say like every 10 chapters if you go from like the first if you look at chapter one and then look at 10 you'll see a slight difference and it's normally for the better <clears throat> so i think near the end we're talking an eight near the beginning we're talking a six enjoyment wise like a seven i enjoyed most of it it was pretty solid um it's not mind-blowing or anything but i think it's a solid series that i enjoy um i think a fair overall rating would be a seven pretty good uh not hurting you on anything it's enjoyable overall um i think the story is definitely the weak point um it's definitely not as good as the rest uh art i think you know it's you know it's again near the end we're talking an eight so that's like improvement that, that, that's pretty good um enjoyment wise i mean a seven's a fine rating for enjoyment <laughs> so yeah i don't know overall again we're looking at a seven it's a pretty solid series not much to complain about i think it's fun and i think if you just happen to come across it it's worth the read um yeah, I think that's about it. I'd appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Maybe leave another story that you want to read down below. Um, even if I've read it, I'll read it again. I don't really care. And uh, yeah, I'll see you.